Hello everyone, welcome to English 808 for Technical and Vocational Education. Today's lesson is Unit 10, Embedded Questions. So by the end of this lesson, you should be able to, number one, identify the use of embedded questions. So we will learn how to use embedded questions. Number two, identify direct and embedded questions formats. So we will look at two different types of questions and how to write them or form them. And lastly, we're going to write embedded questions to have more practice. Let's start with these two questions. So we have direct question and embedded questions. For the direct question, what are my mistakes? For the embedded question, can you tell me what my mistakes are? So what do we notice here? In direct questions, then we have what are my mistakes, which is the second, R is the second word in this question. As for embedded question, then R comes at last. But again, what do we mean by that? From the example before, which question is more polite to ask your teacher? Is it, what are my mistakes? Or, can you tell me what my mistakes are? So which one seems more polite and more uh, professional when you talk to a teacher? Yes, so we use embedded questions. Can you tell me what my mistakes are to politely ask someone? So embedded questions are generally more polite than direct questions. So this example here is more polite than what are my mistakes. Embedded questions are usually questions included within another question or statement. So as we can see here, what are my mistakes? Mistakes is one sentence. As for the embedded question, then it is part of two sentences. Can you tell me? And what my mistakes are? So embedded questions are questions included within each other. So two questions together. We have examples here of WH questions and we're going to read the direct and embedded questions and see what is the difference between them. So what is the direct question, WH question, and what is embedded WH question? I will give you one minute to read it and then we're going to discuss it. Let's talk about it more. So for embedded questions, we use an introductory phrase or clause. As we can see here in the first sentence, what time is the meeting? In the embedded question, then we put another phrase, which is, can you tell me what the time is? So we have added another clause or phrase. Let's look at another example. When did you start? How are we going to write the embedded question? We are also going to add an introductory phrase or clause, which is, I'd like to know when. So always for WH questions, then you use an introductory phrase or clause to form or to write embedded questions. Now let's look at another type of questions. In here we have yes or no questions, and again, I will give you one minute to read the questions and try to find what the difference is between them. So how do we write yes or no questions and how do we write embedded questions? You have one minute to read and find the differences. All right, let's discuss it together. For embedded questions, we also use an introductory clause. So, do I need a? I'm going to add, I wonder if I need a. 
So the introductory phrase or clause is, I wonder if. Let's look at another example to understand it even more. Does the plane leave? We need to add another phrase or clause to make or form an embedded question. So we will say, I'm not sure whether the plane leaves. So these are yes or no questions. Be careful. Some embedded questions are structured like statements. So they are not questions, meaning you don't add a question mark at the end, but rather you put a full stop. Now we've looked at the meaning uh, of direct questions and embedded questions. We have looked at different types of questions, the WH questions and the yes or no questions. Let's do more practice to understand it more. In here you have three sentences. You're going to put the words in the correct order to make embedded questions. So these words here are not in order. Put them in the, uh, the right order to make an embedded question. You have two minutes to do this exercise. see if your answers are correct. Number one, I don't know how much I got in the test. Number two, do you know what the professor said? Number three, I'd like to know if you have taken any school assignments so far. I have another exercise for you to practice embedded questions. So here we're going to rewrite each direct questions as embedded questions. So number one, two, and three are direct questions. You are going to use the phrases and the clauses to write embedded questions. And you have the phrases and the clauses, and the clauses in the brackets. So you must use, can you tell me, the phrase or the clause, can you tell me, to write embedded question. For this exercise, I will give you three minutes and then I will show you the model answer.
great. So, number one, can you tell me where the administration office is? So we have used the clause, can you tell me, to formulate or to write an embedded question. Number two, I wonder which careers are mostly demanded in the market. So we have used the phrase or the clause, I wonder, to write an embedded question. And lastly, I'm not sure when we will start taking practical lessons. So we have used the clause or the phrase in the brackets, I'm not sure, to create an embedded question. We have practiced reordering sentences. We have practiced creating questions. Now it's your turn to write five embedded questions about job or workplace. So make sure that you include at least two yes or no questions and three different questions. You have five minutes to answer this exercise and then I will give you some suggested questions.
All right. Let's look at some possible answers. So a possible embedded question is, I'm not sure if the work starts at 7 or 7.30. So as, an, as, as a new employee, you can ask this type of question. Number two, can you explain what the manager wants? Number three, I'd like to know when the company was established. Number four, I wonder whether I need training at first. And the last, the last possible uh, question is, could you explain how I can improve my career? It's okay if you have another embedded question, just make sure that your answer has the clause or the phrase that you use before writing an embedded question. This is the end of the lesson. We have learned about embedded questions, their meaning to use it when you want to ask politely and how to write them. Thank you so much for your attention and see you next time.